Talk about clips. Uh, tell me about that clip I seen on Instagram about this girl riding you up in a little flag turn, flag football tournament. What's up with that? Uh, What's up, y'all? We're back. St. Brown Brothers with the 33rd team. Here to talk, you know, more free agency, Cam Newton, um, and a little, you know, rapid fire questions with my brother. So let's get it right into it. I don't know if you saw the Cam Newton clip, um, but I don't, he said he's better than 30, he, he's better than at least 32 of the starting quarterbacks right now in the league. What do you think about that? Um, yeah, I saw that. I mean, I feel him. You know, he was a 2015 MVP, made a Super Bowl, first overall pick, Heisman winner. Um, you know, he's been a solid quarterback in the NFL, and I understand where he's coming from. You know, like if I was him, I'd be thinking the same way. There's not 32 quarterbacks better than me. Um, I'm sure there's a fit for him somewhere. Um, I, off the top of my head, I can't think of what team. Maybe a team that already has a, you know, dual threat quarterback, but um, so he don't have to change the system as much. But he's definitely a good quarterback. I saw his little throw he had in his pro day at Auburn. It was a rocket. So, I mean, it looks like he's been training. So we'll see where he ends up. It's going to be interesting. Yeah, I mean, I feel where he's coming from. Like as a player, like damn, I'm for I'm for sure better than 32. Um, but for me, I feel like he for sure, like you said, I feel like he fits somewhere. But if he were to be on a team, I feel like have a team that already has like a running quarterback, like just just so if he were to you know back up, come in like same system, he can run like Lamar Jackson. Their backups, if you look at the Ravens, they all can run like just like him. Yeah. So if I was a team, I'm and I needed a quarterback and I had a already big guy like. Shoot, Sarah Jack, Anthony Richardson, he's our starter. Have him back him up. Shoot. I feel like that'll be that would be the way. But I feel where he's coming yeah. from. Some guy on my in our group chat, they sent a they sent the throw of Cam Newton. I don't know if you saw it, where he back you dropped back, went right, rolled out all the way left. You seen that throw? And threw it across yeah, the body. Yeah, in that clip, yeah. One of my friends goes, That's going pick six back the other way. <laughs> I was but like, no way. Talk about clips. Uh, tell me about that clip I seen on Instagram about this girl riding you up in a little flag turn, flag football tournament. What's up with that? Uh, I was not, <laughs> nothing crazy. It was, you know. It looked, it looked it, like it, it, it was. It was our first game. I was, like, getting warm. Didn't really, didn't really warm up. It was our second uh, game. That was our first game. We didn't play Dante in the first game. Our second game. First game, didn't even play much. We blew him out, so I barely played the first game. Oh, okay, okay. So, she comes out second game. I'm playing defense. They're driving it. Shit, before that, she routed someone else up. I was like, okay. I get on her. I'm pressed on her. You can't really touch her during press. I didn't, you know, I didn't want to put put my paws on her. It looked so like you could hands on her if you want to. She was, uh, 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 uh. you know. The, the thing is, I looked back like last minute when she did, when she stopped. I looked at the quarterback, and as I looked at the quarterback, she just <laughs> and went who, left. Who's the quarterback? Was it golf? If I remember. Yeah, it was. I, I literally, I'm guarding her. She like stops kind of. I look at Jared, and then she just goes left. I'm like, oh shit! And when I try to grab it, it was too late. Like, bro, it's just a little flag tournament. Yeah, she got me. She she can have that. We can run it back though. You can tell her that we can run it back if you want. <laughs> you run it. I don't know if you want that. I don't know if you want that. You're crazy. I'll ride her. Oh, uh, that that's for that's for another day. Another day. Another day. All right. Um, I, I'm hurting. There might be a uh, trade rumors where D Hop. Where do you think he should land? You know, like there's a lot of options out there. Um, I know the Chiefs lost some receivers. They lost Juju and McCole Hardman, so they lost some receivers, and they're always, you know, looking to run it back. But Mahomes uh, back there, so they need some weapons. Yeah, we I mean, I've been hearing the talks about D Hop. I don't know where he's gonna go. I don't know the team's really interested. Um, but Chiefs, I feel like they always make a move. Like they always grab a weapon. I don't know who it's gonna be, but if they got D Hop, they'd be nasty. They have what D Hop. They lost Juju, McCole. They still have Kadarius Tony. He's nasty. Yeah, Quez. Um, oh, and Quez, yeah. So they'd have a bunch. And they got Sky Moore. What about OBJ? He's he's making a comeback. So yeah, he's bro, I don't know. I keep hearing I keep hearing he's going to the Jets. Like it's already the more the I days are, the more I see he's going I to the Jets. Huh? Or he wants to go home. Back to his, you know. That would be lit. Dude, yeah. Jonas, like, that'd be lit. Him and Saquon, that'd be OD. Yeah, as a I feel like as a as a fan, you want you'd want to see to go to the Giants. Yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be so cool to see. But then if he's in if he's in New York, he's with the Jets. I still like New York, but on other team, that would be yeah, that would be, be crazy too. Um, but yeah, I have no idea where D Hop's gonna go. Shoot, he still has to get traded, so I have to figure that out. Yeah, that's um, true. But I just feel like Odell and D Hop. There's I feel there's talk every day. I'm like, whatever. Like 
Until it's final, like yeah, there's always so many rumors, huh? So many rumors. Yeah, like put pen to tweeting. Yeah, like come on, bro, just let, let it be. Let, let them do their thing until they go somewhere. But the fans eat up the rumors. They eat that shit up, bro. I feel it. Um, I don't know if you saw Elijah Moore traded. My class actually played in the opening with him. He's a great dude. Um, shoot, I think he's cold. He's a good little route runner, huh? Bro, in high school, at the opening, he was routing shit. Was what like, college did you go to? Uh, he went to Ole Miss. Ole Miss, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's nice. Yeah. Him and him and Amari Cooper in Cleveland with Deshaun Watson, I feel like they never had like that. I like got DPJ, Donovan Peoples-Jones. He's solid. Shoot, they got a little receiving core now. They do. Um, it's it's going to be exciting to see. And then Deshaun Watson is going to be. And they have Chubb back there, too. And they have Ooh. girls. So we'll see. Chubb is OD. But then they're in AFC North, you know, so they got the Bengals. Steelers and Ravens. Yeah. Those are all all good defenses always, too. But it's, 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 that's a tough league to play in, you know. They're always neck and neck every game. So we'll you, almost feel like, you almost feel like the Jets are already making moves. Huh? They're playing for Aaron. <laughs> they, they, they haven't gotten him yet, so we'll see. That's interesting. I know. But imagine they just don't get him. That would be crazy. All this stuff just to not get Aaron, I'll be sick. Yeah, I'd be. But we'll see. But yeah, Jets got what? 2023, they got a 40 second pick. So they got a second round. Second round is solid. I feel like you can find dudes. That is. That's all in the draft, pick. yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a good pick. You can find a lot of good players in the second round. I feel like a lot of the best players come in the second round, low key. But me too. I feel like they all come in the fourth round, too, but that's just me. And sixth round, but. <laughs> um, um, let's get into some uh, rapid fire questions. Um, who's an all time quarterback that you'd want to play with that you like, you know, retired, not retired, currently playing any quarterback ever? All time Q. Uh, so uh, the easy one is to say Tom Brady, but uh, I'm gonna go with something Harry- else. Let me think. Uh, I'm gonna go with someone that's retired. I'm gonna go. Up. I'm gonna just go with Big Ben. Really, I did not see that one coming. Because, bro, you've just—he's so big. Like, I watched his highlights with AB. Bro, you just be throwing it to him, like waiting for him too. I'm like, bro, what? Yeah. AB can run any route, change direction, boom. It's almost like a Pat Mahomes, just not as mobile, but still, he's never got sacked. His pump fake is OD too. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Big Ben. Yeah, I'm gonna go Tom Brady because I already played with Aaron, so it'd be cool if I played with Aaron and Tom Brady. You know, I got to compare the two, see the differences. That would be pretty cool to play with both the, the greats, the GOATs. So, uh, let's see. Your favorite NFL team growing up, I already know. Yeah, I mean, we both had. I feel like you copied team. me, though. Like, you never. No, no, yes, no. you didn't fuck, watch football. No, fuck no. I didn't watch football, but it was for Madden. From playing Madden, I liked the Eagles. You don't play Madden either. When I was younger, I did. What are you talking about? You play, bro, you never we played, played Madden. Yes, I did when we were younger. Who did you play with? We didn't have we didn't have Xbox Live. So who were you playing against? You were playing against me. We were playing with each other. We didn't have Xbox Live. So who were you playing with? Bro, you didn't play you Madden. Don't played you don't Madden. remember. You were a little kid. You don't remember anything. I never played. You're not even good at Madden. You're trash. Not anymore, I don't play that shit. That shit is a cooked game. But, <laughs> but when I was little. Yeah, hey, Madden, bro. I'm still, I still have Nike gloves in Madden. Like, what are you guys doing? Like. <laughs> No, but yeah, um, they're so. I'm, I'm tired. Of, I'm not playing the game until you guys fix my gloves. I'm an Adidas athlete. Fix it now. Yeah, but yeah, I don't like the way the game is set up. But I like the Eagles because the closest team to me growing up was the Chargers, and they, I like LT and Gates, but they were cool. But um, when I played Madden, I always used the Eagles because they had uh, Mike Vick, McCoy, and Deshaun Jackson. So I'm an offensive player, so I like to scramble, throw the ball, and if I needed a running back that shifty, I had McCoy back there. So that's why. You know, I was rocking with the Eagles, but I wouldn't say I was a real fan fan because they're still in Philadelphia and I'm in California. But I was for sure rooting for the Eagles when they when they were playing uh, Tom Brady in the Super Bowl before I got drafted. Yeah, I'm for sure. I was an Eagles fan growing up. Uh, I love watching the Eagles. Michael Vick, Deshaun McCoy, Deshaun Jackson. I'll never forget the uh, the punt return Deshaun Jackson against the Giants. <laughs> Bruh, craziest game I like I ever seen. That that yeah. game and then the Seahawks Packers in, in the playoffs. Do you remember that game? Where the Seahawks came back? Oh my yeah, God. yeah. Those two games are some of the craziest games I've ever seen. But They're I was an Eagles fan. 
Huh? Devontae tells me about that game. He was pissed. Bro, I think he was like a rookie, I think, or something. Yeah, they're like they it was an NFC championship, right? He was hot. I, I think not. I think it was a divisional. Was it? It was, it was something. Yeah, it was playoffs and they crazy. They got they the were, onside. Yeah. It's, onside. It's, it was NFC championship? Yeah. And dude, the with a two-point conversion or whatever it was, uh Russell was scrambling, threw it hella high in the air. Yes. Who caught it, dude? Oh my god. Was there a fake field goal too in that in that? Yes, game? bro. They faked the field goal went for wow. crazy. Was, yeah, it was insane. Um, I was rooting for the Seahawks too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. I was like, oh. and then Beast Mode, like, she's so tough. Yeah. But now, nah, when the Eagles won the Super Bowl, I was so lit in high school. I was oh, in Vegas. God. I remember. That shit was crazy. But not anymore. That's out the door. I'm not an Eagles fan no more. Um, um, what's your favorite college memory, if you have one? Favorite college memory? I would honestly say. COVID, kind of like when it first happened, like I remember I was on my phone in the cafeteria and they said, breaking news, the NBA shut down. I was like, damn, this is like COVID is real. Then the next day we had a meeting, a team meeting. We didn't know what it was going to be about, like obviously COVID, but like we had spring ball coming up and I had just gotten surgery on my uh on my growing, so I was like, I couldn't do spring ball anyways. So I was like, if they cancel spring ball, I'll be fine. Um, so we get in the meeting, and I come in the meeting with gloves and a mask. Like, I went down to get a mess to mess around. I came in with gloves and a mask. Everyone was looking at me crazy with when I had the mask. I'm like, bro, what are you doing? Like, what do you need a mask for? So I'm in the, we're in the team meeting. They say, yeah, we're going to cancel everything. S- school is going to be online. And remember, I went to your place in Newport uh, yeah. for the beginning of it. I was just living with my brother in the off season, um, with you living in the off season, not even off season, well, your off season, but for me during spring ball, living there, hanging out, doing school online. It was a breeze online. I don't need to tell you why, but you already know why. <laughs> Tess, breeze, <laughs> all of it was easy. <laughs> I was just scheming through it all. Um, but it was fun just to hang out with, my, with, with the bros. Um, and then when we came back, like, they figured out COVID and everything. We came back for a little COVID year, um, and we were just in the in the living or in the dorms with my my roommate, just hanging out every day. It was it was it was really fun. I would say that was that was a fun time. Um, I'll say my favorite memory. I'm gonna go the football route because I'm thinking about football. But um, it was my first year starting sophomore year against Texas. It was a sold out game. We had just beaten my uh, my freshman year at home, so now we're away. And it was a shootout, and I had two touchdowns. And my second touchdown, like, I flipped in the end zone. I got hit. Boom. He hit my leg hella hard. Knocked him out low-key. He was out for the game. Flipped in the end zone. Had two touchdowns. I don't know how many catches. Probably, like, five or something. But we lost in overtime. It was a, it was a shootout, but that was a crazy-ass experience. If we would have won that game, that would have been the top, top-tier top college football memory. Um, yeah, so I'll say it was mine. My first time starting college football was, was pretty cool. Pretty excited. Awesome. My favorite games in college, my favorite college games, I would say my I had, against Washington State, COVID year, we, I scored four touchdowns in a quarter. That was lit. And then UCLA, COVID year, bro. Crazy game. Like shootout, back and forth, boom, boom. They score with like, I think it was like 40 seconds left. I'm like, oh, it's over. We lost. They kick off to Gary Bryant. Ah, takes down to like the 50. I'm like, let's go. They throw a deep ball to Tyler right after he catches it. Now we're like at the 15. We're like 16 seconds left. Throw a fade to me, I catch it over. We win at UCLA. I mean, there wasn't any fans, but to beat UCLA like that was probably one of my favorite games for sure. Yeah, and I can't talk about my non favorite college memory, non football college memory. Can't talk about that on here. Really? Why not? You know, just rated R. Rated R. Yeah. Would love to hear that. Um, <laughs> when did you realize you had a chance to make it to the league? Um, I mean, growing up, it was always my goal. So I wouldn't say like there was a defining moment where I'm like, oh, I have a chance. I would say it was more likely I realized I had a chance to go to college it was a bigger like defining moment when I got my first scholarship. Because at first, like I'm the oldest brother to go through the process. I didn't have an older brother to go before me. So I had no idea how tough it was or how, like you know, if I could actually make it. I didn't know about the competition around the world and how good people are, you know, so. When I got my first scholarship, I think after my sophomore year of high school, I remember crying in my bed, like, damn, I can go to college now. 
But then after that, more scholarships start floating in. And then I was like, okay, yeah, I'm going to go to college. And I realized that, like, doing camps, doing, you know, um, Nike Open, Unarm All American, playing with the top players in high school. I was like, oh, yeah, I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm up there. So it was never like a defining moment, like, oh, I have a chance. But, you know, once I got solidified, I'm going to college. I was like, okay, yeah, it's, it's going gonna, I'm gonna, to, I'm going to get there. It was never a doubt. What about you? I was, uh, I mean, shoot, when I was a kid, I always, I knew I had it, like, everyone has a chance. So, like, I always knew I had a chance, but I would say it wasn't really, like, a day or, like, a week where I was like, oh, now I really have a chance. I would just say, for me, it's like a, it's like a process. You go from middle school to high school, you start getting offers, boom, you're like, damn, I can go play D1. You go D1, and then you start making plays in college, and you're like, I want to go to the draft. And so, I kind of, like I said, I that was always my dream as a kid, so it's not like, oh, now I really have a chance once I got to college, but it was it was really just a process, I would say. Um, so, what would you what would you say is your? I know you've been in that league for two years. What's your favorite NFL player so far, or not even NFL? What's your favorite football player of your career? Would you say? I would, uh, that's easy. NFL. I would just say my game winning touchdown against the Vikings, my first touchdown. Um, that was definitely one of the coolest moments for me, uh, for everyone, my team. Um, the city of Detroit, um, the way it happened, when it happened, there was the Oxford shooting. I don't know if you remember in Michigan with a kid, uh, you know, shot up the school. It was horrible. And that week they showed us the video on there. It was like, damn. And we're like, we're going to de dedicate this game, you know, to, to the high school. And they, they showed up before the game. Some of the players that were there, I said, what's up to them? Um, we wore our Oxford strong t-shirts before the game. Um, shoot, Dan Campbell even had the hat on. And we were we hadn't won a game yet. We were I think 0 10 and one. So we tied the Steelers, but you know lost every game since. And we were driving it down. We worked this play all the time. You know, Friday was it Saturday before before our game on your walkthroughs. You know you work situational plays. We worked it all the time. And he called it. I was like, sometimes it packs. I'd be like, bro, this this play is not going to work. But it works like first of all the DB was like. You're not supposed to let me get in the end zone. He was like three yards yeah. in the end zone. I'm like, okay, this is probably going to work. And then Khalif took the guy, was perfect, and this shit was wide open. I'm like, oh, my God. I was literally just sitting there waiting for the ball. I feel like it took so long. I was like, please just get here because I know he's coming. Caught it, boom. Like, if you see, watch the video, I'm just sitting there for like three seconds. Like, no way. Then I get up and celebrate. That was that was a lit moment. What would you say your was? Um, I would say for the NFL, it was this year or last year, uh, first touchdown against the – Niners, I remember going in the week, like everyone in the media saying we didn't have a chance, like no chance to be in the Niners. You know, their roster was stacked. Every every part of their team was had a good had a star player. Um, it was about to be pouring rain. You know, they run the ball well. It was like, damn, like number one defense in the NFL, everything. Like it was like no one gives a chance. I remember there's a stat, like they show us after the game, like Monday meetings, whatever. They're like at one point. I don't know what quarter it was, third quarter, maybe they had the Niners at a 99%, 99.9% chance of winning the game. And then um, I think my touchdown was a go-ahead touchdown in the fourth quarter. Um, it was like a kind of like a rollout or play action, play pass, where I was trying to pick for the fullback, go in and pick the linebacker a little bit, and run like a little corner route. And like I kind of went in there and I kind of got lost. And they busted the cover somewhere. Like Byron Pringle was open on the left side in the flat. So the safety saw him wide open. So he went, oh, shit. So he went to cover him. I just popped up and the ball was in the air. I was trying to concentrate in the, in the range, trying to catch it, just like phew, caught that shit. And then I just fucking threw that bitch hard as I could in the stands. Well, not in the stands, like at the little, I didn't want to get a fine, but in the little, um, at the wall. And that shit was crazy. And then we won the game. And then we everyone slid in the wall. That shit was crazy. But I'll say in high school, uh, I had a Hail Mary catch against my former high school team. And we had never lost to them until I transferred my sophomore year. It was our first time losing to Olu um, in the history of survey, I think. And everyone's talking shit. I'm all teammates. Like, yo, you should have never left. Da, 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 da. And then my junior year, we're playing them again. And we're losing the whole game pretty much. And then we had a Hail Mary catch, a Hail Mary pass. And Travis threw that bitch up. And I caught it and I scored. And they all hate me now. And that shit. That, that shit was lit. They don't hate you. Uh, I swear. I was, I, they don't I, give I, a damn. I went to a party afterwards. Uh, and there was hella Olu kids there. And they were like, oh, shit. Like, you can't be here. Da, da, da. They're trying to start issues. I'm like, bro, I ain't worried about that. I, don't know. I just, we just left. Like, they, they were they were hot. They were pissed about that shit. I remember that. I was I was at the game. That shit yeah, was yeah, that was. Who's the funniest teammate you've ever had? Ooh. I mean, I'm trying to think too. Like, 
I had a few. I had a few. I would say ever. I would say Dexter Williams. He's from Orlando, Florida. I remember um, getting to Notre Dame. Couldn't understand him when he was speaking English. Like he had that accent. It was my first time being like a Florida kid that had a strong accent. Had no idea what he was talking about. But this man's hilarious. And he got drafted to the Packers too. He was there with me for two years. One of the funniest guys I've ever met in my life. This man is hilarious. Had some good good memories, good Snapchat memories, everything. Just, just being around him. He's a great kid too. You know, great running back. And he's just hilarious. You probably met him. Have you met him? Oh yeah, I met him. Yeah, he's hilarious. He's funny. He is hilarious. He's from Orlando. Bro, I have a dude on my team from Orlando. Silly dude, bro. I feel like they're all silly. Really? Yeah, Kirby Joseph. Okay. Like, and then another dude on SC from Orlando. Just silly too. Like, I swear it's, it's Orlando. Like, it might be Orlando. Yeah. Um, who's the but funniest we- teammate I've ever had? That's tough. Not Crunch. Yeah, bro. I just think Jamar Jefferson is like, <laughs> not everyone. Not everyone might think he's funny, but I just feel like his mannerisms, like the shit he says, it's just yeah, he is, so he is stupid. Funny. <laughs> he doesn't even try, like you know the guys that don't try to be funny that are funny. Yeah, 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 he's one of those. If some guys try to be funny, they're not funny. Some guys try to be funny, they are funny, and some guys just be themselves and they're still funny. Those are the guys that that I that I think are hilarious. Um, what would you say is the hardest hit you've ever taken? I I, I could pitch one already, but what, what do you think it is for you? The hardest hit. Okay, I'm gonna go. In the NFL, I would say last year, um, I think it's on YouTube. You search up hardest hits in the NFL, I pop up. Well, I'm one of the clips. There's a bunch of them, but I ran like a, a ten yard out against the Dolphins. Oh, they were playing we like the other day, yeah, bro. They were playing like almost like a cover zero. Xavier Howard was off. Uh, he was like deep on the to the right side. Khalif was out there, and I was in the slot, and the guy guarding me was off too. So I think when the Dolphins play their zero, they, play, they all play kind of off. And the Zavian Howard, he's looking inside to see, like, if he can break on it because he knows Jerry's going to have to get rid of the ball pretty soon. But I run a 10-yard out. I catch it. get pop right, right by the first down. I get up quick like nothing happened. Like, check up. I got the first. Keep walking back to the huddle. I'm, like, walking back. I'm, like, I just got popped. <laughs> um, but in college, I took the hardest hit of my life. Oh, my. You guys can all look it up. Bruh. My, fucking, <laughs> my face mask broke. I'm like, no way. Oh my never. god, bro. I'll never forget that. Playing Texas, my freshman year, I run a little slant, catch it. I'm running. I'm like, oh, no one's here. I keep running. I didn't even see him. I don't know how. I was looking left and I cut like I played on my left foot to cut right. And I just he's right there. He literally catched me off balance. Bro, he hit me. My mouthpiece fell out. Ball was in the air. I literally, I fly in the air, I fall down, the ball just falls right on top of me. I'm like, oh, shit. I get up. I mean, it didn't hurt. Really, that's the craziest part, but it was so hard. I go to the sideline. I'm like, my face mask, but they fixed it. We hop back in. We lost the game, but I went stupid. Um, but yeah, I got popped, bro. Crazy. It's hardest hit I ever took. I would say for me in the NFL, it was probably my freshman year against the Jets last, or well, second last game. I actually had a concussion on this play. It was like a cover two shot, cover two, like a whole shot. Aaron threw it to me. I caught it. Boom. As soon as I caught it, I see the safety right there, and he just fucking lights me up in the head. Boom! I'm like, oh shit! It was like it was probably like a 20 yard catch plus 15, and it was like a it was like the go ahead drive. I don't know if it was overtime or to tie it up, but like, it was like a 20 15 yard catch plus 15 yards. So it was like a almost like a 40 yard play. Caught it. Boom! My face mask was indented like halfway through. Like it was that was tough. And then for high school, I remember we we're playing San, Santa Margarita. They had a safety. He was. Six probably like six five, like two, two twenty, two thirty, big, big white boy. And then I ran this. I was in the slot. I ran a seam route, and then nickel blitzed off my nose, and the safety just went right in front of me, like probably like off like twenty yards, fifteen yards. I'm like Travis, don't throw this fucking ball, and he fucking throws, and I jump. Wow, I just get laid out. But like just like your Texas one, it didn't hurt that bad. But just looking at it, I got laid out. That shit was bad. But like I'm defense, I'm the I'm defenseless. Like, what do you want me to do? Like I'm in the air, boom, my big I can't do shit. Like that's what I hate about DBs. They smack you when you can't when you can't, you know, defend yourself. And then they yeah. took out they took out the rule. We can't crack back on people anymore. Like I like to do out in Dolphins my my rookie year too, going back. Like if they're defenseless, like let me get a chance to get my lick back. Like right. they're peeing off on those receivers. Like it's crazy. They take all the rules out. I feel like bro, the hardest hits don't hurt. Like there's hits I've taken in the league like that no one would think hurt hurt so Dude, bad. Oh my god! I got ran over by D lineman I think like blocking wise, and then I got stepped on on my back. That sure hurt. The worst pain in my life I think honestly. 
Don't don't run the ball. Don't go in between those tackles. I Dude, swear to God. There's no those D linemen are so big. They get a hand on you, it's over. <laughs> <laughs> Just go down. <laughs> I think I, I had a run versus you guys against the Bears. Well, I had well, yeah, I had a run. I was yeah. like before the like all week, I was telling Craig, like, man, I'm about to bust. Like, I get the ball in the game, like, what happened? Like, <laughs> I was like that shit, clo- that shit closed up. No, I said that shit closed up quick. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. I didn't see no f- that shit close up so quick. I'm like, fuck that. I like playing running back, bro. Hell no. Them them dudes take guys. Yeah. Bam, bro. Guys. And quarterback, they get lit up too. But if I'm two thirty, like I'm going in there. But like, and then you're, you're damn thirty. What are you talking no, about? Oh, five. You're crazy. If I was like two oh five, anything below that, it's like, yeah. You got to be smart. Like, if there was a thirty third team added in the NFL, what city? What city do you think it should be in? Sheesh. I feel like every major city already has one low key. Let me think. I mean, they already had one in San Diego, and I don't think it went well, so they moved to LA. Damn. Um, it's a tough one. Um, honestly, they should add one. In Canada, just like the NBA has a you know Toronto Raptors, they should add one to in Toronto. That'd be lit. That'd be crazy. Yeah, just add one to Toronto, like the Toronto Raptors, and just add an NFL team right there. You know, the CFL would be sick. They would be sick, but that'd be lit. I can't think. I feel like all the cities are. Tough. I think uh, hockey has that too. They have a few teams in Canada that play. I'm not sure, but I know the NBA does. We should might as well. We might as well do that. Might as well. Yeah. Or, at, or yeah. Let me think. Or, or, or Mexico City, bang! Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, guy, you don't. You not want to live there. That's like one of the highest crime rates. Hell no. I was thinking about that too. I was like Cabo. I'm like, nah, you can't do that. Or Cabo. Hawaii. They wouldn't That'd be practice. They'd be on the beach all day. Or I would say Hawaii, but that's so far. Like that's a five hour flight from LA. Like think about that's the what, bro. The Forty Niners. They they fly. Yeah, they, they fly five hours, I feel like, to every game. Think about Hawaii. Like, every away game, the minimum flight is five hours if you play for that team. But then, again, you're living in Hawaii. That might be lit. So, Hawaii. I say Hawaii or Toronto. What about you? I, I, bro, like, there's – most big cities I took, but, like, I'm thinking about basketball. Like, there's no team in Orlando. Under that. We have Tampa Bay. Um, yeah, you don't want to be Orlando. Toronto would be lit. Um, Oregon doesn't have they already have New York. Yeah, Oregon does it, but then you can know like all the. Does Oklahoma have a team? No, but you don't want to put a team in Oklahoma, bro. Oklahoma City. I know, but you don't want to. Like, bro, there's so many states. Hawaii. Wait, bro. does Utah have a football team? No. There you we people, go. People in Utah, yeah. Utah. The Utah, I don't know what. The NFL teams are just like they're so like iconic, you know, like that, like it's just like random stuff, but like you can't touch it. Like, who would think the name team the Cardinals? But like, it's just so normal for us to hear Cardinals, you know. And the, as you think about it, Arizona, like, what other team is? Oh, I guess New York. Packers. What's it? What's a What's a Packer? Like, you, there's so like it's so natural to think of Green Bay Packers, but you think about what is a Packer, bro? It's like dude. a cheesehead. I know, but like, it's crazy. Yeah, you should know what is a Packer. I think they pack. Cheese or pack some meat, like people that pack stuff. The G is the G is iconic. It's just like iconic, you know. It's like you don't even think about it, like Green Bay Packers. You don't even think about it. Like, who's the, who's the king of the jungle? Do you know? You talking to me? Yeah, I'm a, I, I forgot. The jungle, I'd say, probably it's tiger. Honestly, really. Do, yeah. Mike, do we know who the king of the jungle is? Lion, lions don't live in the jungle. <laughs> you, like, you like that setup? Just a straight lob straight to him. <laughs> but lions, lions don't live in the jungle. Who's bro. the king of the fucking jungle? We the run lions this live shit. Honestly, Tiger's right, to be honest. All right, I appreciate you guys checking in. Um, we got a lot more content coming. Stay tuned. Let us know in the comments who you want as a guest. I promise. If you guys put the same dude enough, we'll try to get him on. Um, and lastly, for some of you fools that need to gain weight, whatever it is, I know some of you guys like to get in the gym. I don't know what you guys are taking. But if you're trying to get on swole, you better be on cane. Because if not, 
Use a motherfucking lane. We out. <laughs>